What are the first thoughts that come to your mind? Frustrated, dirty, itchy, contagious, upset. Oftentimes there are negative reactions to lice. No surprise there, they're bugs. By the end of this video, I'm not expecting any warm fuzzies towards lice. However, our feelings have led to an all-out war on lice, leading to school districts implementing exclusion policies, known as no-knit policies, that prevent children with knits and lice to come to school. And it makes sense. Child has lice, don't let them go to school, prevents other children from getting lice. In theory, it works. So why has it persisted over all these years? and there are 6 to 12 million infestations annually in America. So why don't lice exclusion policies work? It takes one to two months to detect lice, so there is no need to send children home immediately. There is no need to keep children with knits from school. Not all knits, which are eggs, are viable, especially the further from the scalp. The direct head-to-head -head contact for lice transmission most often occurs at home, not at school. Let's think about this. No one wants lice, just as much as they don't want a cold. Colds are common and contagious, even more so than lice. Yet we have no school policies that prevent children with runny noses and coughs coming to school. And furthermore, colds can lead to ear infections, sinus infections, possible hospitalizations. Yet lice, they don't pose a health hazard, nor do they spread disease. So why all the policies on lice, not colds? Okay, so let's go back. What words come to mind when you think of a cold? Miserable, tired, ongoing, not as harsh descriptors as we said earlier for lice. So is this what pushes policy? Emotion? Hetzer, and I'm a school nurse and a doctoral student at Duke University School of Nursing. And I encourage school districts to discontinue the use of lice exclusion policies. Rather than exclude a child from school, school districts should be working with school nurses and community medical resources to provide education to families that are evidence-based treatment and prevention strategies. Thank you.